but you just gotta believe and a lot of y'all ain't believing i can tell by the look at your youtube videos a lot of y'all are not believing <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and today's video I'm going to be talking about annoying things that small youtubers do This is probably why your sub count is going absolutely nowhere. You are not getting any type of engagement Nothing is growing. Nothing is growing at all. You don't know what to do Your YouTube channel is flopping and it's just very tiring So here are five things that you're probably doing which you should stop doing so that you can move forward in your youtube career before we get into this video make sure to like and make sure that you're subscribed and turn on those post notifications so you know when i upload i'll wait every wednesday and saturday feel free to turn it on that you have it on and if you don't you better have it on by the end of this video so let's get right into the video so the first thing that some small youtubers do they're really petty for no reason i see a lot of i've been seeing this a lot of small youtubers will be really petty they won't watch anyone's videos they won't do this they won't do that they won't comment they won't like they'll watch for a couple seconds and then they're like oh can you watch my video for this many minutes and it's like you have to give someone something to get something in return. I don't understand. A lot of y'all small YouTubers will dislike videos. You guys will leave hate comments. You'll do this, this, and that. Just because somebody didn't watch your video, didn't do something you asked for. Like, get over it. Nobody knows your name. I don't know why you're trying to start drama with your um, 200 subscribers. I don't get it. Like, you know, just go with the flow. Stop making enemies now. Don't make enemies at this time because, you know, when it comes to the future, it could just be brought up, oh, this person did this. So I'm saying, don't be petty, you know. If someone asks you, oh, like, can you watch my video and you watch it and then they didn't watch um, the same amount of time or whatever, they didn't like, don't get petty and start disliking going off on them. Next time they send their video, just, you know, watch it for the same time that they did to you. And it just doesn't make you look good as a person, as a YouTuber. So refrain, try not to be petty, try not to hold grudges, just get over it, move on with your life, move on with your channel. It, like, you know, if somebody tries to start a problem with you, they're obviously probably just jealous of you because you're doing better or uh, you're enjoying yourself more you reach this amount of subscribers faster you know there's always going to be those type of people who are petty and um very immature so just watch out for that stay true to yourself and don't try not to get involved in any type of drama the next annoying thing that it's just a pet peeve of mine that small youtubers do is that they do not try at all they don't even try but they expect all this fame and money and uh, whatnot followers and it's like, if you can't even try on your thumbnail, I don't think you're gonna get that far. Some people don't have certain resources, you know, certain things. You don't need a whole iPhone or a whole camera to be able to record, you can only use any phone. But if you don't make the effort in your videos, if you don't show that you want to be on YouTube, then like people aren't gonna watch you. You expect all of these subscribers, oh, subscribe to me, subscribe to me. Fix your, fix your thumbnail first. You know, try to get your channel going, make it look vibrant, something. Don't just throw a channel together without even a profile picture and expect people to subscribe. Now, you're probably saying, well, like, oh, I don't have certain stuff to make profile pictures. Um, I'm pretty sure Pixar is on every app store. You can totally make your whole, your, your whole entire thumbnail with that. Just Pixar. You don't need anything extra. I have a video. I'll link it here and in the bio. You don't need no editing apps. You don't need all this extra stuff. If you can get stuff in one go, go ahead and do it. Like you can edit so simply. You don't need all this extra stuff. You just have to show that you're you're going to take the time to produce all these videos for people who want to watch you. And you don't need to make it all fancy and stuff, but you're like, hey guys. Welcome back to my channel, um, subscribe or whatever, uh, yeah. 
Like no one's gonna watch you if you're like that. You need to have energy, you need to be more relatable in general. Like you can't just be sitting here doing these videos and not even giving a thought of it, not even caring. Like it's really not that hard, you know? Just be yourself. Another annoying thing that small YouTubers do is they're really fake. There are a lot of fake small YouTubers. You will DM them, hey, you wanna be YouTube friends? But I guess because you don't have as many subscribers or you're not on their level, they're like, oh no, I don't want to be YouTube friends with you. Or they just leave you on red. A lot of y'all will, um, get your subscriber and get your watch time and when it's time for you to return you'll block them or you'll remove them you will not talk to them again and it's not a good look honestly because you know people remember these things people remember everything you did to them i'm gonna say it right here right now and be real i've been blocked before somebody got their subscriber and then i sent them my videos like oh hey like can you watch this video blocked <laughs> If, if you think I stayed subscribed, I sure did not. A lot of y'all are fake. You guys will skip watch time. And it's so obvious, especially with the new update. You guys will skip ahead, wait a couple minutes, send it. I've gotten people who sent me proof of them watching my video. And it'll be like 20 minutes in. But I sent them the link two minutes before that. Do better at least. You know, if you want to fake it, at least wait a little. Stop trying to that's just embarrassing it's really embarrassing to see people do that and it's like you know if you think i'm gonna watch a whole 20 minutes of your video in return i'm not i'm not gonna start a problem with you but i'm gonna just do the same thing i'm giving you back the same energy like we're not we're not the same we're not get, no we're not connected this isn't a YouTube friendship. This is just a simple sub for sub, which is why you have to watch out for those type of people. A lot of fake people. Be real. You don't like something, say it, but don't be rude. Just be calm, be chill. Like it's not that big of a deal. It's just YouTube. It's just another platform. So you just get over it. Don't be that fake YouTuber. Another annoying thing that YouTubers do, well, small YouTubers, is they'll be so unorganized i'm kind of calling myself out not gonna lie because i can apply to some of these i've been petty before i'll admit it but you know i learned to get over it and just push it aside and say you know what? whatever that's their fault it's not it's not me it's them it's not me because i'm chilling and they're not back to what i was saying you'll be really inactive like even if you're going on a break from uploading because i've been on like a couple breaks from uploading because i just didn't feel like it i'll still engage with people on instagram i'll watch people's videos you know comment say this this and that i'll still respond to old comments that i may have not seen like i'm always trying to engage because i'm not trying to lose these subscribers because not all of them follow me. So of course, if they send me their video, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go watch it. If they did the same for me, I'll do the same for them. About the unorganization, that ties in with being inactive. Like if you're gonna be inactive, I'd recommend don't go like, you know, unless that's your schedule, your actual schedule that works for you, don't start posting, 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 and then you're gone for like two months. Unless something actually really happened, don't be lazy. You gotta get up, you gotta go ahead and do it. Cause that just shows YouTube, you really don't want this. You really don't want to um, be where you wanna be in your YouTube career. So just don't be inactive, try to keep up. Even if you're not active on YouTube, if you're not feeling the best, you know, it's good to update your followers on Instagram about your channel, something, just something to get things still moving even while you're gone. The last annoying thing that small YouTubers do that is probably the reason why you're not growing at all, like your sub count, it might even be going down because of this, is because you're copying other people. I'm not talking about when it comes to video ideas because you know, everybody has around the same video ideas. I'm talking about how you act on camera, how you act in the comments, how you engage with other people. Like you guys aren't being your true selves. And it really shows on camera because you're not comfortable. You're over here like, like no one does that. You don't act like that in real life. You don't have to show yourself a hundred percent, but at least give us 50. If 
five zero, give us something. All I wanna see is people act themselves. Even if you're not super comfortable, you have to get comfortable with it. Eventually you're going to have to be comfortable around the camera, facing the camera, talking to the camera. I'm not gonna lie, my first video, I was kinda like, hey guys, um, so this is my Q and A. And you know what people told me, they done told me, Christy, that's not how you act. You don't act like that, you know. It was a good video, but you know, you don't really act like that. So I was like, okay, let me take this constructive criticism and turn to something good. Like, you know, now I just act like myself. It just came naturally. Once you get comfortable with yourself, you'll be able to do that on camera. You know, if you establish how you act and for real, how you act for real right now, then it's not gonna be a problem later on when you're growing even more. Cause when you hit that 100K, and then people, you start trying to act yourself, people are gonna be like, what is this? I didn't subscribe for you to act like this. I didn't, you know? I think people should accept you for who you are, but it's better to start now. So you can give all your first time subscribers a real breakdown of who you are, of how you've been, of just your whole style, your whole way of doing YouTube. So yeah, just be yourself, don't be afraid. If you have problems with like your self image or you have, you can't really connect or you just are scared to be yourself, it's like, take the time to practice, honestly. You see people like Emma Chamberlain or James Charles, all these big YouTubers acting themselves. Like they're showing you who they are. You gotta start doing that too because you gotta show them your personality. Either you're here for it or you're not here for it. Make up your mind, you gotta choose. It's really annoying when you don't act yourself. It's pretty obvious because it's just like, we're looking at each other. I know this isn't you. Come on, don't be don't be shy. Switch it up a little bit. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Those are five annoying things that small YouTubers do constantly. If you stop doing these five things, I can guarantee that you're gonna gain. You will start gaining even more. Being yourself, being true, just be true to yourself and you'll be fine. So yeah, just these, stop doing these five things. It's just not worth your time. Stop wasting all your energy on this and put it into engaging with your subscribers, gaining more subscribers, producing great videos, and making your channel look overall professional and nice and like a good place to be. So yeah, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to comment. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, go ahead and comment green heart and make sure to stay healthy, stay safe. Corona isn't gone as usual. Um, black lives still matter and they will forever matter. This is far from over. If you really thought it was over, no, it's not okay there, it's far from over make sure you love yourself because self-love is the best type of love and yeah bye see y'all on saturday hopefully mm -hmm.